Hey guys, before we start the video, I have to apologize that I haven't uploaded a video for a month now. That is because I was on vacation and I didn't bring my PC with me, so sorry for that. But now let's quickly start the video. Hey guys, it's Curl back bringing you another video and in this video we are going to be take a look at how to add recipes to my new auto crafting table. So we're going to get an auto crafting table and place it down by throwing it on the ground. It will take some time but then will be placed. As you saw in my demonstration video, I linked that on the top right corner right now. And here you can define some recipes. So let's first define the recipe bread. So as a little demonstration, you can define it like this. And then if it has two items, oops, at the top, then bread will be summoned, but the recipe is kept. So that is the concept of this auto crafting table. So now let's see how you can define your own recipes. I'm gonna clear my inventory for that and let's see which recipe do you, we want to do. How about, I don't know, let's say, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do a chest. This is obviously completely useless, but I'm just gonna do it. So let's get some oak wood out, and maybe even a stack of this stuff. Whoops, uh, yeah, like this, a stack. And then we need to get a dropper and place it facing up top or anywhere, it doesn't matter. Then we need to give ourselves a comment block with this comment right here. Give carrot comment block and replace any block right here. Then a comment block and then a button right on top of the comment block. And then we're going to write the following comment in here. Block data then a tilde, tilde minus two, tilde, and then open and close curly brackets. And then when we're going to press this, you can see the previous output has changed. But now let's define our recipe in here. So let's get awkward planks and define the recipe of a chest, which is eight wooden planks like this. And we're going to place two of each item in this. Then we're going to press the common block and copy this long comment right here from the items tag. And that's it. So to this closing bracket right here, we're going to press Command C or Control C or whatever to copy it like this. And then we can first extend this clock by two in this direction. So facing east, right there. So positive x plus one on the first axis. And we do that with these two common blocks. So this one, we have to change the seven to nine because seven plus two is nine. And the same for this one right here. And now you can see we pretty much made a pretty big mess, but that does not matter. So as you can see, we can place a redstone lamp right here and everything is good again. Then let's destroy these things, no problem. Place these blocks just for symmetry and for aesthetics. And these carpets. Alright, so for each recipe we need six comment blocks. And we're going to place the first comment block right here paste the comment in it and then go to the comment block right here maybe piston 2 or tnt2 it doesn't really matter and then we can copy the whole comment from the start not the whole comment but the part that i show right here and copy this yep to opening this bracket we're going to copy that paste it in here before the stuff we copied before and then we're going to come to the back of the comment block and place a curly bracket right there. So 
So place the curly blocker at the very end of this comment and hit enter or done. And then we're going to need a sign, this is just for aesthetics, but what have we defined? Um, it was a chest, right? Chest with two items each. And then you pretty much have to do this and then just place one item. This might take a while again. Okay, now press the con block once again, activate it I mean, and then you got this output right here, we're going to get this from this bracket to the start. And here we go, to the items, copy that, and then we're going to come here get the com block in here, paste this in here and then we're going to copy this comment from or to the block data so from the execute statement to the block data comment and copy that, paste it before this and then also have a curly bracket at the very end of the comment, just like right there. And then for the top of the comment block, we have to summon the actual item that is crafted. And we do that by copying this whole comment by pressing command or control A and then command or control C and then paste it in a comment block right here. And then we're going to specify the item with the item name right here um, Minecraft Piston, we're going to change that to what was it? A uh, Minecraft Chest you can look up item IDs in the description, I'll place a list in there and then we change the count to 1B and that's it and I just do it for the 2 not for 64 but it's basically the same but instead of doing um, 2 and 1, you're going to do 64 and 1 each stack. Yeah. And now let's try this out. Let's place our auto crafting table. We need to get one, of course. Um, get auto crafting table. Oh, we already had one. Anyway, place it right here. Then get a hopper out. And. Place that hobble into a chest or whatever, doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's craft a chest. Then get some wood. So, let's get this wood. Yeah. And it's going to keep the recipe, and one chest will be right here. Now, you have to know that for now you can't do it with, for example, jungle wood. That just won't work. But if you want to do it to work with any meta value or whatever, I don't know, then you just have to remove the damage zero as tag for everything right here and I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, that should be it. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do that with jungle planks though, like this. Okay, it changed to awkward planks. Yeah, I know. You'd have to create multiple recipes for metaverse if this shouldn't be changed. But now we also have a chest, but we use jungle wood. Amazing, right? So that is how you write your own recipes. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment and a subscription. It is free and it helps me out a lot to create more of these videos. And see ya later.